And this time, if we have the children come up for our children's message. Morning, everyone. Morning. How are we doing? Very good. Well, it's, it's an all-girl crowd, except, except you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. That's right. Uh, today, all right. How are, how are we all doing? Very good? It's good to see everyone. Everyone, good to see you. Now, today, we have um, this picture right here. What is that picture of? A knight, K-N-I-G-H-T, that's right, or a warrior, or someone who is going to battle, battle right? Now, when we go to battle, as it says in our Ephesians text, it says, you know, we do not battle, you know, the principalities of this world, but we are facing the forces of, of darkness, and that is of the devil. Now, how do we face the devil? Well, we, we have, how does this man, how is he going out? Is he just going out, you know, taking a suitcase and going off on a work day? What is he, what is he wearing? Armor. What's armor? Why do we need armor? To protect ourselves, right? Now, the question is, protect ourselves from what? Right? And as I just told you, you know, we face a lot of things in this life as Christians. And, and there, you know, the devil is doing what? He's throwing every, what's this right here? What am I trying to do? Arrow. Every flaming dart at you, right? But the question is, how do you protect yourself from all these flaming darts? Do you try to dodge every dart yourself? Do you try to, you know, bring out the boxing gloves and say, you know, devil, I got you. You know, I can do a little roundhouse punch. Is that how, we wor how it works? No. How, do we, how do we face the devil? Bailey, Hannah, is it, is it by your own wisdom and strength that you say, you know, I can outsmart. I can outwit the devil myself because I am so intelligent. Is that what you say? We could try. But you know what happens, right? We always, you know, we always fail. Um, but today we have the armor. The question is, my friends, what is the armor of God? The words of God? The word of God. That's right. Right? You know, it's interesting because as we look at the text today, he says, put on the armor of God. It's like, you know, when you put on your clothes this morning. It's like a, this putting on, right? Now, the question is, how do you put on the armor of God? By that very word, right? <laughs> very good. Very good. like, yeah, I got this, right? Uh, but have you ever thought about your baptism? As, you, as God has put on that robe of Christ upon you? You know, that's the thing about our faith, is that God loves you so much that he has given you, well, he sends his son, of course, to die and rise for you, right? To forgive you of all your sins, to give you life everlasting by his death and resurrection. But also he gives you your baptism. It says in the book of Galatians, whoever has been baptized into Christ has put on Christ. So, when we put on the armor of God, it is by the word of God that he gives you this armor, that he crushes the devil's head, that he protects and preserves and, and gives you the protection that you need by that very shield of God and his word. And through all things, where is God? He is with you. He's always with you, leading you and guiding you and giving you the comfort that you're never alone, that he protects you and gives you the promise that you are indeed forgiven and that you have everlasting life. Well, because the scripture says so, and that is your armor. 
the very Word of God. Let us pray. Dearly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time together. Bless these children always in your word. Lead them and guide them in your grace. And Lord, we just thank you for Jesus, for all the gifts that you give. That you have given these children the greatest gift of this gospel. Bless them and keep them under your word. Lead them by your eternal light. And Lord, uh, bless them in your promise. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, you may go back to your seats now at this time.